Hey everyone, Carl here with Trial Byte Studios. And before we begin, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to the channel lately, and those who have liked the videos. It goes a long way to help us know what you guys, the fans, really want. So thank you. Alright, let's get started. After both the failure of Jurassic Park in 1993 and InGen's Isla Sorna expedition in 1997, the genetic company filed for bankruptcy in early 1998. However, John Hammond, who was near the end of his life, placed his dinosaur park dream into the year of the man who would begin the next chapter of InGen's Parasaurolophus, Simon Masrani. At this point, it's unknown if Mr. Masrani had a hand in the illegal creations on Site B. What we do know is that someone in Masrani Global along with Dr. Wu, traveled back to Isla Sorna to create newer versions of already created species, like Velociraptor, Brachiosaurus, and of course, Parasaurolophus. That brings us to the next version of the Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus, Walkeri, Sornaensis, Sornaensis. Or as I call it, the Western Parasaurolophus. The Western Parasaurolophus are thinner than all the Parasaurolophus subspecies created by InGen, with green skin and light brown markings. These animals seem to live in close proximity to the illegally cloned Corinthiosaurs, as well as the newly created Brachiosaurs. Official Masrani Global Records state that by the early 2000s, Masrani himself had visited Site B, and held a hatchling western Parasaurolophus. This version of Parasaurolophus was one of the first dinos to live in the new theme park, Jurassic World. During the time that the Engine Security Division was reclaiming Isla Nublar for the upcoming Jurassic World project, they also discovered a small population of the original Isla Nublar Parasaurolophus. These parasaurs were moved to Site B as to not interfere with the costs and the guests. As far as records show, this was the last time anyone ever saw this subspecies. As of August 2004, around a dozen western Parasaurolophus were transported to Isla Nublar's Central Valley as attractions within the Gyrosphere Tour and the Jungle Trek Attraction. The Jungle Trek Attraction was an open-top safari vehicle ride that took visitors into the eastern side of the Central Valley. As the years passed by and attendance waned, Jurassic World wanted to draw new and old visitors alike by editing some of their previous assets. Like before, a new subspecies of Parasaurolophus was created, Parasaurolophus lux masrani. These parasaurs had the same body proportions as the 1997 Parasaurolophus, but these parasaurs were far different from their predecessors. Dr. Wu included jellyfish bioluminescent genes into this species, which made the parasaur glow in the dark and allowed the park to open an exclusive nighttime safari. The Parasaurolophus lux masrani was held in the world-famous Cretaceous River Cruise, with a healthy population of 40 individuals. Yet this wasn't the only new subspecies of Parasaurolophus that InGen and Masrani Global created. Sometime in 2014, Dr. Wu started working on Parasaurolophus tubicin nublarensis. It's unknown if anyone ever saw these specimens on Isla Nublar during the park's operations. However, it appears that some were captured by Ken Wheatley's harvest team in 2018. It's also theorized that this subspecies was recreated by Biosyn once Isla Nublar dinosaurs were released into the wilds of California. At least one male of this subspecies was documented in Beaver Lake, Arkansas by 2019. It is unknown why or how this individual made it this far east. 